In this video we are going to show you how to record audio from the XFX2 guitar processor directly on your Android phone or tablet using the USB audio interface. Now Android does not support USB audio recording at all, so we at Extreme Software Development wrote a complete USB audio driver from scratch which currently supports over 250 USB audio interfaces. This driver can be used by our multitrack audio and MIDI app called Audio Evolution Mobile which you can see here displayed on the tablet. You will need to have a compatible Android device, which means it needs to run Android 3.1 or higher, it needs to have USB host support and the kernel needs to support isochronous USB transfers. Now this is usually the case for well-known brands, but please check our compatibility list in case you are unsure. Ok, in order to trigger the USB host mode and connect the XFX to the Android device, you will need something called a USB OTG cable. This cable converts from micro USB that is standard on Android devices to a full sized USB connector. Then we attach a standard USB cable to that and plug it into the XFX. Now let's fire up Audio Evolution Mobile. Here you see that Android will ask for permission to use the USB connection. Now normally this is only asked once, but to use the XFX we need to upload its USB firmware first. After that Android will think that another device has been connected, so it will ask for permission once again. Ok, now the status screen shows that the USB audio device has been detected. Now we must say that uh, for using uh, USB audio interfaces with Audio Evolution Mobile, you will need an additional in-app purchase. But if you just need basic recording, uh, you can also purchase our basic recorder app called USB Audio Recorder Pro. Now let's just press the record button and start the recording. <laughs> Ok, now let's play it back. Note that the audio now comes out of the XFX outputs and you could for instance play along with that. Ok, now let's show how you can record the wet and dry guitar signals at the same time. For that we create two new tracks. We then select the input dialog for track 2 and make sure the input is set to channel 3 and 4 of the XFX which will contain the dry signal. Ok, now let's arm both tracks. Track 1 armed, track 2 arm. And let's also uh, enable the uh, metronome and uh, let's step in the tempo. Ok, right there. <coughs> Ok, if we now solo the second track, you'll hear the original unprocessed guitar sound. Uh, this can be convenient for reamping or adding effects at a later stage. Ok, now let's record a solo guitar on the new track. Ok, so there's a little bump there at the beginning, so let's uh, trim that away and start playback. You can also import backing tracks or MIDI files and play them through your racks. So let's import a drum track that we have prepared. Ok, drums.mat. We choose the uh, virtual instrument as, uh, as output. And let's not forget to uh, disable the metronome. Ok, 
Okay, there's a lot more that you can do with our app, like non-destructive editing, MIDI sequencing, and so on. Uh, you could even let it send MIDI program and controller changes to your X, but that's really beyond the scope of this video. Okay, so we're at the end of this video. Um, if you want to give our app a try, please visit the Audio Evolution mobile page on the Google Play Store. We also got a free demo version, so you can try before you buy. And you can find both links to those in uh, the description of this video.